Hey guys, UDG here, back with another Unreal Engine 4 recreate tutorial series. In this series, I'm going to be recreating the Ghost Recon Wildlands drone. It's going to have all the different functionality that Ghost Recon Wildlands had. So it's going to have a zoom in, zoom out system. There's going to be night vision. You're going to have a HUD that'll show a bunch of different things on it, such as the battery for the drone and the signal distance before it cuts out. Uh, it's going to have some things implemented so that whenever it moves side to side, the UI will also tilt with it to give it the effect of it turning. Anyway, I'm going to get onto the video now. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to get a first person character. Now I've got a clone project that I use all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to call this Recon Drone uh, 2. Now as long as your template is just anything that has the basic you know, first person or third person character, it'll be fine. It won't make any difference. I'd recommend using the third person character so that that way when you see it, from the perspective of the drone, it'll be a full body instead of just the one that comes with the first person where it's just a little uh, arms and a gun. Uh, we can drone two. Here we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up. But uh, I'll see you guys in there. Okay, so once we get into our project, we're going to want to go ahead and create our drone. So the first thing we're going to need to do that is we're going to make a input keybind. So I'm going to go project settings. I'm going to come on input, action mapping, and create a new one. Now under here, I'm going to call this a deploy drone. I'm going to bind this to one. Now you can bind this to whatever you want. This key will be the key that you press whenever you want to deploy your drone, hence the name. And then we're going to make a new blueprint. Uh, I'm actually going to cheat. I'm just going to copy paste my character. I'm going to call this dp underscore drone. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Now there's a bunch of stuff we don't need in here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this stuff. Yeah, the gamepad input I don't need, don't need that. Need the charm. I'll leave this for now, but we'll be changing this uh, shortly. And then all the things here, don't need this, 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 this. Uh, need the mesh. I'm parent that. Can't delete that. Okay. Uh, the follow camera. We are going to make a spring armor. We're going to attach that to it, and then should we reset its position? It's actually on it properly. I'm going to make my spring arm a little bigger. We go 400. Actually, no, we're not going to use the spring arm. Sorry. We'll uh, delete that, and then with our follow camera, we'll reset that to its default position. We'll come to our mesh, and then we'll remove the SK mannequin. And then I'm going to come to our capsule collision, I'm going to shorten it. We'll make it a whole lot smaller, and leave the radius the same. Uh, follow camera, we can just leave where it is. But this will be our drone. Now if you have a mesh that you want to use, you can add your mesh here just on this mesh component. But I don't actually have one that I want to use, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Now, once we're at this point, we've got our basic little drone reference here. We have no way of actually moving it around. We haven't set up any of that. But we also don't have a system to spawn it in yet either. So I'm going to come into our third person character now. And I'm just going to delete some stuff that I don't need again. Okay, now once we're in here. The first thing we want to do is we want to get our deploy drone that we set up earlier. And now we're going to make our blueprint system here that will actually deploy the drone. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure that we have no widgets open. So we're going to go remove widget. This will just make sure that there's no HUD that shouldn't be there that came from our player originally. And we're going to get the player controller. And then from player controller, we're going to drag out, we're going to go set, ignore, look input, and move input. And then connect those two. And then make sure you tick both of these. So what that does is it'll make sure that it won't receive any inputs from us moving us our mouse around or any keyboard input we put in, like WASD. I'm then going to add a delay of 0.2, and then we're going to go spawn actor in class. We're going to get our drone that we just made. 
put that in there. And then from spawn transform, we're going to get a, a drone spawn point, which we haven't made just yet. It's going to delete that next time I do that. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to make a spawn point that will spawn my little drone character. So you can put this wherever it is you want around him. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make a sphere. Oh, need collision. Sorry. Sphere collision. I'm then going to move that out. Roughly somewhere out in front of the character. And then I'm going to come back into third person character. And then I'm going to get that, drag out. I'm going to get world, transform, and then connect that. And what that will do is it'll spawn our BP drone at that position we just made. So this little sphere will spawn inside of it. So there's no way of me really showing you at the moment because I haven't got a mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the skeletal mesh back on it just for testing purposes. And now if I come in here and I press 1, you can see it now spawns that in. And I'm also unable to move or look around, which is exactly what we want for now. Delete that as well. Okay, so back in here, I'm just going to quickly remove that mesh because we don't want that. And then we're going to continue working from here. So at the moment, we're not actually possessing the drone OS spawn here, which is what we want. That's Unreal Engine's way of taking the player controller, which is how you control your spawn, and then being able to move it around. So we need to make sure that our player controller is then put onto the drone. So we now need to get our player controller again. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste it. And then we're going to drag out. We're going to get possessed. And then connect that. And then I'm also going to make a boolean here. We're going to call this drone is active. And then I'm going to set that true. And then I'm going to comment on this just so I know what it is. I'm going to call it spawn. Zoom in a bit. Spawn drone. And give player control of it. So now at the moment. What happens is that we will take control of this thing, this uh, drone that we have set up here, but we still won't be able to move or look around because we've ignored the inputs and we also haven't set up any input systems over here. Apparently our only way of moving around will be the normal way that you would with a character, which is something we want for a drone. We want that to be able to fly. So we need to go ahead and set that up. So we're now going to come under our BP drone and go into our event graph. And then the first one we'll set up will be under mouse input. So with turn and look up, I'm going to drag these. I'm going to make myself some space. I'm going to go ahead and expand this comment a bit. Okay. So for this first one, we're going to go ahead and break these and move it over. I'm then going to get Another variable here, we're going to call this uh, current turn. I'm going to make this a float and compile it. I'll drag that out and set it. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my interp too. We're going to go f interp 2. We're going to drag that into our target. And then we're going to make our current, our turn current, or our current turn, sorry. And then our delta time will be get world delta seconds. Our interp speed, I'm going to go with 15, but you can just mess around with this until you get one that you like. And connect that. And then connect that. And now we have to do the same for the bottom here. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and set that up now. We're also going to need another variable for this one. This one will be uh, current. Look, compile that, and go ahead and set it. I'm gonna have to get our F interp again. Uh, yeah. Set the current, that's the wrong one, set the target to our axis value. Our delta time. I'll get world delta seconds and then our current to our current look 
Oh, you can uh, just drag that out if you hold down shift, sorry, not shift, control. You can drag it out and bring get, and you can also drag it onto the pin to do it a little bit faster. We're again going to set interp speed to 15. Yeah, so now that's got it set up so that we can move around with our mouse and we'll rotate the way we want. And at F interp, what that does is it'll move it smoothly between it so it's not going to jump quickly. Now we need to set up our movement input. Now currently, the way that it's set up is so that we can walk around on the ground and we can't fly up at all. So we're going to have to change this a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to make an input axis for, move, uh, for moving up or flying up, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go to our settings, project settings, and then we're going to find input. We're going to find action mappings, and we're going to create a new one. We're going to call this, uh, let's go and move up. We're going to put that on our left shift. We're going to come back into our BP drone. We're going to get move up. Then we're going to drag it over here. Let's drag this one out a bit just so they're all kind of lined up. Now from the here, we're going to drag out. We're going to go add uh, movement input. Oh, oops, I've done this in the wrong one. We're going to go Project Settings. Yeah, okay, sorry. From Project Settings, you go Import. Let's just go ahead and delete that one. I was meant to put that as an axis mapping. So we're going to make a new one. We'll call this Move Up. And then we'll get our left shift. Leave left shift as a scale of one. We'll make another one. We'll get our left control this time. And we'll make that negative one. There we go. Now have to come back into our BP drone. We can go get our move up again. And then we can connect that to add movement input. Uh, axis file into scale value. Now currently we haven't set a world direction, so we'll have to do that now. So we're going to come up here to our make rotator. We're going to drag out. We're going to go get up vector and connect that. We also need to make a, another variable here. We're going to call this one. Uh, right target. Going to set that and connect it to move right. This will be how we make it so that later on it'll sway side to side when we move in that direction. We're going to connect the axis value there and then scale value to there. And I think that should be everything. That looks good for now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test that out now. So we'll go into our play option. We'll press 1. It'll become our little drone. Uh, ah, that's right. There's a couple other things we have to do. So under character movement for our drone, we've got to edit some things there. So we're going to go into here and find our default line movement mode. And then set that to flying. Uh, you can change the max acceleration and braking. I'm probably just going to half this because it'll be a little quick. Uh, braking friction. Let's up that a whole bunch. That's got, I don't know, like 40. Um, oh, we should change this as well because this would be too quick. Change that. Then... I think that should be everything. Just check for one last thing, just to be sure. Let's turn you on. And then under movement capability. Uh, make sure that we make sure, make sure that you kick, sorry, can fly and then untick everything else because we only want to be able to fly. And I think that should be everything.
It's been a while since I've made this, so I'm just having to double check. Let's try that now. Now if we fly around, we'll press 1. You'll notice that we don't drop down straight away. And I can press shift and I go up. And I press left control and I go down. I can fly left to right. Forward, backwards, every direction that I need to. Okay, so in this episode we set up a lot of the basics for this tutorial series. We've got our drone basic mechanics working. So we can now fly around and go up, down if we want. In the next episode I'm going to make it so that whenever we fly right to left, the camera will also tilt right to left as we turn. And then we'll also set up our zoom in, zoom out function, and depending on if we have time or not, we'll set up the night vision. Anyway guys, if you want to keep continuing on with this tutorial series, or see any other tutorials that I have, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you want to see any other tutorial series similar to this where I recreate different game mechanics, leave a comment down below, let me know what you want to see. Other than that, that's it for this episode, see ya.